Hello YouTube! I am Pinstar and this is another Transport Fever 2 Strategy and Tactics Quick Tip. So today's topic is a humble but I feel very important one and that is intra-city transportation. Now what do I mean by intra-city transportation? Well the first thing that comes to mind when, when building transportation is city to city or industry to city or industry to industry but often ignored are these transportation networks you sit uh, set up within a city and those can be extremely important to a much larger more efficient transportation passenger network so let's dive in First things first, um, generally when it comes to setting up transportation networks within cities, I generally don't bother until a city is in the triple digit numbers. Now, if that means feeding a tiny city uh, some cargo first so it can get into triple digits, so be it. Luckily, we've been dealt a, a hand here of some cities that are um, uh, more than big enough to uh, make good use of it. So let's hop over to Boydburg here. Um, now, when analyzing a city for placement of, uh, of your uh, uh, intra-city transportation network, a couple of things that I usually advise doing. One is uh, first take a gander at the land use layer. This will give you a good idea of exactly where your residentials, your industrials, and your commercials are. Now, here the city's a little bit jumbled, but still mostly condensed. Essentially, what you're looking for is the residential and not residential areas. You obviously want to make sure every area gets some representation, but that being said, you do uh, you do have some, some discretion here uh, in, in picking where you go. However, picking where you put your stations and how how you do your intra-city transport uh, does have some important implications to the long-term health of your city. So the other thing you're going to want to look for here is the uh, the current uh, passenger use here. This will sort of give you an idea of where where where's the passenger travel the the most populous right now. So right now this city has no. Um, has no mass transit so everything uh, everyone in the city is using private transportation to get where they're going and here we can see a nice thick line down here and we see a thick line up here this is where the uh, things are concentrated the most so that is where we're going to want to concentrate our transportation network so it looks like up here we have a, a copious amount of residential zones um, and down here, this is sort of the gateway to all of both the industrials and the commercial zones. Um, now, my third uh, tip here when it comes to, um, uh, to intra-city transport, regardless of what area you're starting in and what uh, vehicle set you're using, go with tram lines. You really, really want to go with tram lines. They are, they are the absolute best way to handle this. Now then, let's uh, let's take a look. Um, so to uh, do our tram lines here, what I usually do is first off, let's 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 pl let's choose a few places to put our stations. But we're not going to put our stops yet. Um, also, by the way, uh, if you're just doing intra-city, you can get away with just these bus tram stops. Um, when you start to expand to a larger passenger network, then you can loop in a bus tram station somewhere on the outskirts. Uh, but for now, we're just going to stick to the little ones. So if we uh, we noticed our first area of activity was right up here. Um, so this could be a certain this could certainly be an area. This over here could also certainly be an area. Um, and there's a reason why I'm kind of um, I'm, I'm thinking about over here a little bit more than uh, than than the other. The reason being is that if we put a station here, they're going to have to go all the way down here to make a UE uh, and back. That actually exposes a lot of our residential buildings to noise, and we don't want that. We want to expose as few of them to noise as possible. I'd almost go so far as to say um, something like down here would be okay, but uh, let's, let's go with up here. Let's go with up here so they're not we're not reaching into this area and exposing a bunch of our residentials to noise uh, or aka emissions uh, because that will um, undo some or all of the good that your intracity network is going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and put our first one here like like a so. 
Now, we saw the other uh, bit of, um, of concentration a little bit further down here. Maybe worth our while to sort of stick it in here. One thing to note that um, uh, while residentials are extremely sensitive to noise, um, industrials and commercial zones don't give a crap. So you can pass by and go through as many of them as you feel like it, and you're not going to do any harm. Um, so going over here, yeah, that looks like a good idea to me. Of course, we're not actually building these stations. We are just sort of are placing them. You don't actually have to place them. I was just doing that for demonstration. So now we know where to link up our tram lines. You can do that by going to streets, click this little wrench icon and bada boom, 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 and boom. And now we can place our things on uh, in our desired locations and they will actually turn into tram stops instead of uh, just regular bus stops, which is what we want. Now, this may seem like a really short line here, and it is. It absolutely is. But that's fine. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Um, when it comes to intra-city networks, you're not going to be using them to make the big bucks. You're using them for logistics and city growth. Now then, one more, th one more piece of the uh, puzzle here. And that is we need to put our uh, station down. Or rather, our tram depot. And that does also need uh, to be connected to tram lines. Now, obviously, it would be... It would be really expensive and wasteful to smush a building just for the depot, because the depot really doesn't care where it's placed. Um, so let's just draw some tram lines out of the way here, like that. That should be fine. And then we'll get our tram depot over here. Oh, little tip for you. So see how this doesn't quite line up and, and uh, one's OCD may be triggered? If you hold the shift key, and then the rotation keys, you can do it to very, very minute degrees. So you can get things to line up the way you want them to. Bada boom, bada bing. Um, all right, now let's draw our line one stop to another. You can, um, depending on the size and the shape of the city, you may, you may need more than just two stops to get a whole city hooked up. Uh, but I try to limit it to, to, uh, to three. And if I'm gonna do three, I'm gonna do the industrial area to residential and then the commercial area to residential. Don't bother with a loop. They generally don't do well for you. Now let's go ahead and buy our vehicle here. The nice thing about, uh, and here's the reason why we're doing the trams over the others, is they have higher capacity. All three vehicle types have a higher capacity. In fact, the uh, European one actually has a capacity of six. Um, which is one higher than the American and the Asian. We're doing the Asian right now. Um, but yeah, tram one is a go. Let's go ahead. Oh, one other thing I like to do. Because this does pass by a few residential zones uh, and we don't want them to get pissy, um, we're going to set the maintenance to high. Again, the whole point of an intracity loop here is not to make the money. Although, if you do it properly, you can make a little bit of money. Uh, you don't, they do not have to be a, a cash uh, hole for you. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, fast forward here. And as we can see, we already got people uh, lining up here. So let's fast forward and let this tram line do its thing. As your thing goes along here, you may want to add additional trams here. Um, this one might need a second tram on it, um, but be careful about adding too many or you will spike your costs. Uh, and again, our goal here is to make a little bit of money. We're not here to make the big bucks. This is not going to build your um, transportation empire in its entirety, but you can still get some good stuff done here. You do. Go back there. Yeah. Pick up the peoples. And as we can see here, the whole point of hooking up a city you know, for intra tram networks here is so that we can get this destinations uh, line up here um, uh, so that we can get this 20% bonus and then once we hook this town to other towns now we're talking now we can get that bonus even higher um, so 
what uh, what do? Well, what we can do is now, now when you're ready to have your uh, town grow even larger and when you're ready to hook it to other networks, now is the time that we get into bus tram stations. And again, you want to put it uh, decently far away um, on the outskirts of your town. Yes, it would be nice to grab some of your, your stuff and you don't want it near your residence. But if we do something like this, we could then hook in our lines over here and then turn this either into a... Uh, a seaport, uh, if we had any good stops along the sea, which we do not, uh, or we can turn it into a rail line and um, have it uh, bridge across here. Uh, whichever you want to do, now do likewise on, say, um, Joshington down here and hook these two up, and now you've got yourself a, a pair of, uh, of cities that are both grabbing the people within the cities and also transporting them back and forth, which will push this number even higher and this, push, uh, this bonus even higher. Um, so it's a good thing to do in conjunction with uh, supplying a city with, uh, with its various industrial goods. So I hope you guys found this tip helpful. Uh, and as we can see here, uh, despite us running our trams along here, our, uh, our noise pollution is not, uh, is not a thing here. That's because our, we're, we're trying to minimize the number of trams and we are keeping our trams well-maintained. Well-maintained trams produce less uh, emissions. And as you go up in technology, especially once you get to the electrical ones, they produce less and less, which is a good thing. Um, so, if you guys like this episode and you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a comment, good, bad, or indifferent. Your feedback is always welcome. So until next time, this has been Pinstar, signing out. See ya!